Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's your boy Ghost GG, and we're continuing with Horizon Forbidden West. And uh, we just left off with uh, reuniting. What's her? What's the? Uh, which one? Aether. Aether with Gaia. Now we got a mission to go find Ethelia or find or follow the signal that might be Ethelia. But it might not. Also, it might not be. It might be a trap. Who knows? Let's go. We're going with Aaron and Varl. There she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. Uh, this distress call. Had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Oh. What's happening out here? Oh, what the hell? One of them. They just blew themselves up. Well, that takes the keg. Is she dead? We couldn't even get past their of their armor. She just got stabbed. Maybe she maybe when they're not looking. Oh, see if there's anything over there. On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. More Zenith than we know about. Yeah, this wasn't one of them, right? I can't believe you fought one of them. Rabena. Almost didn't make it. That's a strong word. I more like got my ass kicked. <laughs> Where's that gun I thing that they had? Did. It took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. Did the rebels take down their specter? The specter had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. Did they get a signal as is. well? That's why they were here. Maybe it isn't a trap, and they just picked up the signal as well to get, uh, to get the Thelia. But somehow, the rebels took down a specter. I thought there was something over here. Well, that's Varl over there. What's that? Oh, it's a moderate supply kit. Go check out that weapon that was up there. Ah. Ah. That weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Okay. Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Osiram with the focus. Going down. 
Supply cash, supply cash. Supply cash. I don't see anything else. Aaron, you got anything for me? You done looking around? Almost. Ravager back here. There's this gun over here. Do you want me to check that too? Now this is a find. Dart gun of some sorts. Right, I'm all for my spikes. Nope, I'm out of the search area. There's something back here. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Were they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Errant. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. Hmm. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. Oh. The officer room that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. The rebels know of the zenith. They know. They know they're here. I've known tinkers to do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress. If it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset. Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. They did get a form of Gaia, right? But the, they don't... Could they have attached their Apollo to Gaia? Because they have a copy of Apollo as far as I know. And that let Gaia be a little bit more smarter, and maybe she picked a up a signal for Aluthia as well. Something that, their version of Gaia. I'm straight recently. up making anything possible, you know. Whatever it was, it anything is possible. Powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called the asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Aaron, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. So, S coordinates. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. That's essentially what I just said. But I thought Gaia would need to be woken up by at least having one subordinate function attached to it. Their version of a Gaia has no subordinate function, right? So I'm assuming they have a early version of Apollo that they could have uh, combined with Gaia. Like how we uh, reset, uh, who do we reset? Minerva? I can't remember who the first one was. And like, uh, and then uh, combined it with Gaia, right? Uh, that's my guess. I, I honestly believe they still have Looks Apollo. Like some kind of data center. And that's going to be a big game changer. We might be able to access the facility systems from that console. 
Because if they have a functioning Apollo, one that Ted Faro didn't erase, or didn't get the chance to erase because it was off-world, that uh, could change everything for mankind on Earth, you know? What's this? A... Look, Zenith. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Like Xenotech. Like the color scheme of it. This was a far Zenith research lab. Ah. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Aluthi is gone? Luthia might no, still be in here somewhere. Exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. Add all the documents. Ancient metal eye. Assuming it's a prosthetic. <laughs> this place is huge. Yeah. I'm sort of kind lost of already. Storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. Yeah, this place is actually a little too big. I feel like I missed so much back there. The control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. This will be in my stash when I need it. That's a lot of stuff. I can break that. But there is a door. Why I decided not to go for the door first, I don't know. <laughs> Went straight for the window break, but it couldn't break the window. Oh, there's nothing in here. Two hundred and thirty-six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Oh, what was it? Two hundred and thirty-six. Who's two something? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Yeah, we had a number. Distress signal two thirty-seven. Those people. Is that the clone? Aloy. It's you. Skins like ice. And cryo. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Miss Bit. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you ruin this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. Apollo? Yes, I told you! But at least I don't have the Gaia kernel to merge them with. 
Oh, did you steal the colonel? Oh, the G. Let's go. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's. She's still alive. We need to get her back to. Oh, shit. They can fly. Oh, Aloy. shit. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectre things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. You technically got two Aloys now. It's so, it's so confusing. Aloy and Beta. I can't let it get through to Varro on the clone. Prepare for battle. I don't know how to prepare for a fucking specter. Um. Skills. No. Weapons, I mean. Um. Where the hell is my trip caster? Yeah, I'll replace that with it. Maybe a rope caster as well. I don't think I need a war bow right now. Here it comes! Already? Hey, blew up! Why'd you blow up? Ooh, ugly one, are you? Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna need to learn how to fight this thing because this is a... Uh... Ooh, poison, poison, poison. I got any finds. Spectre regeneration unit. Oh, that thing's quick. I'm not giving up. Oh, fuck him, my dad. When he pulls that gun out, maybe I can shoot it off. Shit, did something else blow up? What else are you weak against? City. Oh, did I just run into my own trap? Oh, fuck off. Oh, I missed. If I can get my hands on some bar scene tech. damage right there. Stuck on a wall there. Yeah, you're 
you're done. You're donezo. There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. All right, there's still a second one up top. Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. I mean, this is Aaron we're talking about. He might just start fighting it. There's a gun up here that I can use as well. Aaron, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. The second you need me, I'm there. Uh, Spectre's not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. What? Is it because I sprinted? Shields down! It's on the move! Oh, I was in silent strike range, you're a dickhead! I was in range for silent strike and it still wouldn't. Ah. Oh. Help me real quick. Oh fuck, I don't have any filth. Where's the gun? Oh my god. I can't pick I can't pick it up fast enough. Just stand in one spot while I hit you. And you're dead. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. Uh, who knows, maybe Beta will become a friend of ours. Something tells me she's been being forced to do all this stuff. Maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. Snow's melting on my clothes. Great. The weapon. What's that? No. That is survived though. Is it? Well, it's better than nothing.
I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? Hey, We're Lord. in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of... sensory freefall. Everything real feels... unreal. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. That's primitive to him, huh? Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Oh. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. So that's why they came back to Earth, okay. The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. Oh shit, what? Not their descendants, it, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you, does that mean that... You are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. That's why they sent the Hades the signal, right? To wake it up. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you, trained you, and you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should mm. realize that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. <laughs> so we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? 
They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus ah. infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run. I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Aluthia's location in a biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Aluthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. Oh. When the rebels killed, outside the facility. Verbena's dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Aluthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Aluthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database. Before Ted Farrell purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it's all you exists. Got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or so? How long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zeniths? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What?
what? You don't have a Festus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single to a single location. Of course not. You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're going to find me. They're going to find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm going to die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. So, they're not the descendants of Far Zenith, they are Far Zenith. They somehow slowed down the aging process. Or maybe just made themselves immortal. Well, it's just... And they do have a copy of Apollo. That's uh, and then they have a Luthia now as well. They have two. I got one. No, I got. They got two. I got two. Aaron, you okay? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now. Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. <sighs> I wouldn't say that exactly, but. I'm trying. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. True. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. What are you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. I have to. That sounds great. <laughs> Don't go causing too much trouble. Hey, you and Darren okay? Nothing some rest can't take care of. Are you okay? This beta thing, it's a lot. Even for you. Just trying to take it one step at a time. Fair enough. If you need anything, just let me know. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap mall. Still, it's not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs, something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. <laughs> if you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with Anything really doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. <laughs> Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Make sure she's comfortable. Okay. Aloy. 
Hey, thought I'd, uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru o Hephaestus are a whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. I All need right. to get going. May the land <laughs> bloom in your steps. Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Help Thank yourself. you. Where did Catalo go? Yeah, where is Catalo? I was just about to come talk to him. Is it showing on the map where he would be? All right. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Which door did you unlock? There's. Oh god, I'm stuck on something. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia first. The mine. It's pretty weird talking to Beta, seeing someone who looks like me. Even though it seems like she doesn't act anything like me. Or Elizabeth, for that matter. When I met Hikaru, I figured he was just another bloodthirsty warlord. But Vashav was right. Hikaru wants peace. It won't be easy. But with his new marshals, maybe his vision has a chance. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. What is this? Gaia? What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreation room for control center operatives. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful war map. Interesting. Hello. I'm not interrupting. No, but I must ask. The woman Varl and Aaron brought in, she's related to you. It's hard to explain. Um. She's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. Maybe. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just... Looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. Mm. 
You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. Getting Aether out of the Grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. For now. I think I read to this one. Yep. I need to go. On your way then. Can I actually uh, look at the map or no? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, you bulls. Wait, open door. So that's where this leads. Gaia, what's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Well, it's getting some use. Looks like Aaron and Katar. Why can't I get that? Looks like Aaron and Katar. Okay, I think I accidentally cut short that dialogue there. Bye bye, Ed. of the transmission yeah I also recovered this the weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield but it malfunctioned and blew up if we can recreate the weapon and improve it maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith a moment I will scan it complete by combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Damn. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Okay. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. Can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub functions to get. 